Hey friends, welcome back to my channel, Organized with Joy. I'm Joy and I want to inspire you to get organized. In today's video, I will be tackling this storage closet in my garage once again. I have cleaned this out so many times, but I did want to show you these before pictures before I got into it. Before I get too far into this video, I did want to let you know that this is a collab with my friend Sahana from House, Heart, and Home. She will be tackling a space in her home today, so you can head over to her channel after you watch my video for more motivation. Her channel shares a lot of homemaking content with grocery hauls and recipes, and she takes us grocery shopping with her and cleaning and projects. You will definitely love her if you love my channel so you'll need to go check her out after you watch my video I will have her information in the description box below Okay, I got this mostly emptied out. I actually want to take the um, shelves out too. But my idea was to paint this paneling. And I'm starting to have second thoughts because some of the paneling is really torn up. I just nailed this back into place. Um, but I'm wondering if either way, <laughs> It's not like the perfect space, but it's not like this is prominent in our home. I'm just using this as a storage closet and as a backup pantry. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull this out. My plan was to paint this the same color as the walls to make it seem like a built-in or more cohesive. I don't know if you can see this very well. Here is a couple of paint swatches that I put up and I'm thinking about going with the darker one. Um, I like that dark look. So um, I'm gonna need to run to Home Depot to get the paint. But here is what is happening right now in my garage. And I have a good suspicion that this is going to take a few days. So this is just how it's going to have to look. Thankfully, we have space in front of our cars to store things, so this will be fine for the time being. Okay, does anybody else do this? Where you have these great plans and then you start getting into a project and you're like, what am I doing? <laughs> like this, this is not gonna go like I thought it was gonna go. Do I really wanna spend $32 for a gallon of paint? Maybe more because I was planning on getting that Alkid paint that I used to paint trim and cabinets. Well, actually, my cabinets, I did not use it for. I did not learn about Alkid paint until I started doing some of my trim. But what I did use on my cabinets was this Rust-Oleum cabinet transformation product. And I actually painted my cabinets like over 10 years ago, but, um, a little while back I had to buy some touch-up because I had none left and so I bought another can of it 
and it's actually very similar to the color. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this. It's very similar to the color that I was planning on painting. Apparently, I really like this kind of olive grayish green color um, because I had picked that and it's very similar to the cabinet color. So I'm wondering if I should just use this paint since I have it on hand. Unfortunately, this storage closet is very small and has very little lighting, so I will do my best to get clips. In addition to that, I actually decided to leave the um, shelving unit in here. I'm just going to paint it in here because it's something that the previous owners left. It's not like in great condition. And when once I took all the shelves out that were just on brackets, it was very precarious. It was a little bit wobbly. So I was like, I don't think I'm going to try to get this out of here. I'll just paint it inside of the storage closet. This may turn out to be a huge fail. Uh, I just thought maybe doing a makeover on this closet, I would be more apt to stop using it as just a, a space to throw things because as you saw the before clips, that is what this space had become for me and I'm really trying to make it functional. I don't know why I have these certain spaces in my home where I just cannot for the life of me figure out how to create an organized space that is functional. I guess, does everybody just need a closet where you can throw things? I kind of feel like you do. But anyway, let's get on with this. Let's try this and see what happens. Before I do that though, I did want to try to show you on camera. I don't know if you can see, this is like faux wood, but this is not a groove. It's just a darker part of the faux wood. So I'm afraid if I paint this, it's just gonna look like a flat wall. Whereas over here, there is a groove and it will look more like board and batten. So I don't know what I'm doing, y'all. This may end up looking hideous and I may end up being sad, but we'll see. Okay, same day, different shirt because I realized wearing a white sweatshirt was probably not the best idea for painting. Um, this is also white, but it's like an old t-shirt that I don't care about. But, update, I 
almost made it through one coat of paint with what I had left in that can. That can was small, but I remember that paint going really far. So I had hopes that I would be able to paint the entire storage closet at least, and maybe even that shelf with what I had left, but no. Let me show you. Okay, the lighting is really bad, but <laughs> I literally had one little section left to paint there. <sighs> so the frustrations continue and I really should do two coats. I didn't really want to do two coats, especially just because this was a storage closet, but I'm probably gonna have to buy another can of this paint. So, so much for spending nothing on this project. Um, and I do wish the whole thing was paneled like this little section, because I really like how that looks, like the pa painted paneling. Um, but the other was like faux paneling, so oh well. It's not going to be perfect, but I really do think it's going to be better than it was before. So I decided to go ahead and just purchase this Alkid paint instead because I was going to have to buy an entire kit of the Rust-Oleum paint that I had previously used, and it was more expensive than this Alkid paint. Um, so I decided I was just going to go over the previous paint another coat so that it was one cohesive color, although it was so similar to the color I had used for the first coat. Okay, I'm making progress. So those fit 
perfectly right in that corner and I um, will do a few more things today but sometimes you just don't have a big chunk of time to get stuff done and that is okay here let me flip the camera around so sometimes when I have a project like this that feels super overwhelming to me where I'm doing lots of different things um, like cleaning and painting and decluttering and organizing it can feel very overwhelming and I don't always have a huge chunk of time in my day to devote exclusively to this project. Um, when I was painting, pretty much took me the whole day, um, but I had to put it on pause for a couple of days and that's okay. I think it's easier for me because it's in my garage so I don't have to look at it all the time. I can just go back inside and just ignore the mess that is out here. But I just wanted to encourage you if you don't have huge chunks of time to work on decluttering and organizing and cleaning a space, then just do what you can. Even if you have to set a timer, just do what you can and get little pieces done every day and eventually it will get done. Okay, I have a couple things over here, but everything else I got kind of quarantined in this corner, not really organized, it's just kind of all thrown there. Um, what's left of what needs to go into the storage closet or some of it is going to be decluttered. Um, this pile already that is going. And then these books I've had for a while, I need to take them to a secondhand bookshop and then this right here is actually trash. After I turn off this camera, I will throw that away. The plastic box is broken, so I'm getting rid of that. But this is where I'm leaving it today. I might get back to it later today if I have time, but I don't foresee having time today. So like I said, if we can just do little bits and pieces, it's better than feeling stressed about getting a project completed.
okay this closet took me a long time and I'm not totally happy with how it turned out. This happens to me with organizing projects sometimes or just projects in general where I have a vision and it doesn't come together exactly like I think it would. In the case of this closet here, I don't feel like the space is used as efficiently as it could or should be. And I'll kind of show you what I've done in there. It does look nice and it looks way better than the before shots, but like I said, I just feel like I didn't use the space very efficiently. In addition to that, there are definitely things that I might still get rid of in the future. It's just a matter of making a decision about it. I will show you, I have a lot of extra storage bins and it's in part because I can't get these particular storage bins anymore. I got them a very long time ago. I started collecting them probably 15 to 20 years ago and I don't believe they sell them any longer this exact style and I really like things to be cohesive and match. I really like my storage bins to be cohesive and match and so I really am hesitant to let go of them just in case I do some rearranging which I often do inside my house or reorganizing and want to use them in the future. So for now I'm holding on to them and I will show you all of those in just a minute but that is why I have so many extra storage bins. Eventually, I'm sure I will just bite the bullet and let them go as I continue to declutter my home and own less things because the less things I own, the less storage bins I'm going to need anyway. But let me kind of show you around and I will also show you the pile of things that is leaving. Okay, that trash bag and then that pole right there are from a previous declutter. If you have been following my channel and you watched my huge declutter with me for the month of um, September, then you would have seen those items already. Um, and, and this bag of books that came from that stash as well. Um, I just have not taken the time to get rid of them yet. But the new things are, I'm going to go ahead and let go of this wreath. I like my other white wreath better. I am letting go of that mini fridge because I won a mini fridge over the holiday break at a white elephant party. And then I do like this basket. It's a very nice basket, but it has been sitting in my storage closet. The only thing I've used it for is to have treats out for the delivery people at Christmas time but I'm sure I have some other basket or bin that would work for that, so I'll use something as dual purpose. Okay, I wanted to walk you through here and show you what I've done. These two things I like to have at the front of the closet. Um, we don't use them too frequently, but it's just easier to pull them in and out, and I think there's still a good walkway here. That is just a table I use for projects. And then that is a baby gate we use sometimes for our dog. And then I decided to just go ahead and put my wreaths back up on the wall. And I wanted to show you this. Whenever I do this in a project, I like to show it. I love these paintable light switch and outlet cover plates. Um, I just feel like it levels up a space. So um, next, as you walk towards the back, there is all of our extra stuff for our stock pantry. And I do have a few extra storage boxes there. And then over in this corner, I have um, a box of pool things on the top. And then these are just extra storage boxes, lids. The boxes themselves are extra. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and keep those on hand. At the top, I have um, some extra kitchen items that my son didn't need for his apartment this year because his roommates had those items. And then in the last basket, I just have the paint for this closet. And then around here, I actually, at first, 
was going to leave that bed in here. I'll show you some footage of what it looked like. That bed that I brought in here was in this corner, but it was really awkward. And actually I had the side of the bed leaning right here and it fell and hit my wreaths. So I decided to go ahead and put that in my son's closet instead and it fit, it actually fit really nicely. He doesn't have a lot of stuff in there. But here I just have more pool things. We have an extra tire that my husband said he wanted to keep. And then these are all moving boxes for my son when he moves to and from college. In the summertime, I have all of our pool toys out of here and then his stuff that he doesn't need at home just for the apartment is just kind of going to be stacked in this corner. Well, that is all I have for you in today's video. I hope that it was motivational or inspirational. If you are coming over from Sahana's channel, thank you so much for checking out my video today. I hope that you liked it enough to hit that subscribe button and be sure to go check out Sahana's video after you watch my video. Thanks so much for being here and I will see you in the next one. Bye.